Hey guys, it's Freestyle. It's August 17th and I'm here in Massachusetts. I'm about a mile from Crossy 990. I don't know, I just felt like making a video. It's sort of a, I don't know, at this moment Massachusetts doesn't seem as exciting as some of the other states I've had the privilege of coming through. I mean, the terrain is pretty manageable. It's okay. But it's, and the water's good. There's water everywhere. But it's really hot and really sweaty. I mean, just yesterday, I'd gotten showers and, and done laundry. But within, you know, in just the first day, my clothes, if my especially my shirt's gone back to the same drenched with my sweat to wetness that it uh, usually has. And uh, yeah. All the southbound hikers I've been meeting have told me that, you know, as soon as, like, Vermont is really cool. So I'm kind of hoping as soon as I cross the border into Vermont uh, two days from now, that it'll just automatically turn cool and I won't be sweating as much. Huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's this really nice lake right back down the hill. I was thinking about, there's a cabin there, and I was thinking about going to swim and hang out for a bit, but I want to push, push on. I'm doing like 21 miles today. A bunch of us already get to some lady's house, the cookie lady. She typically bakes cookies, and she'll let hikers crash on her property. And it's only 100 yards off the trail, and I want to get there today so I can push 23 miles tomorrow. And then the next day, get to North Adams, Massachusetts, pick up my sleeping bag, which my parents are kind enough to mail there, and uh, keep on going to the Vermont border, which is just above North Adams. It's just, uh, for those of you that may not be aware, I'm going to be taking three days off at Stratton Mountain, Vermont. I used to work at the ski resort there, and many of my friends whom I miss and love very madly will be there. And I want to get there sooner rather than later so I can take my days off sooner and then start, you know, trucking to New Hampshire. It's just oh, the things you do for the things you want. It's, uh, you got to want something badly enough to, you know, go for it unrelentingly. But gosh, is it sweaty. Friends of mine in the Order of the Arrow... It sort of reminds me a little bit of the 2006 NOAC. No AC. You know, you could, uh, you could take a shower, sit in there for 30 minutes. As soon as you get out, sweat starts beating on your skin again. And it's literally the sweat's drenching us, dripping off of us. It's terrible. At least the mosquitoes aren't so bad. And at least there's lots of water. And, you know, I'm on the trail. I'm here on the AT, and I'm grateful for every sweat-drenched step. But yeah, Massachusetts is kind of like just, uh, you know, it's just kind of there. It's just a place I have to happen to hike through to get to where I'm going. But Sheffield, Massachusetts was awesome. I was there two nights ago. Awesome place. You, need, you guys all need to go to the Marketplace Deli there. And uh, they have this nice variety store that has all kinds of beer, like local beers. Apparently there's some, uh, there's the Big Elm Brewery that's in Sheffield. And it's just, uh, oh, they have some good stuff. Hi. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of all that's good to report today. I, uh, you know, felt like saying my piece. And it's, uh, I'm just going to go back to hiking. My phone's almost out of charge. My phone doesn't seem to hold much of a charge these days. Oh, just a little chipmunk, I think. Yeah, oh, look, there's a chipmunk. Woo. Ah, feisty little guy. All right, guys. I hope you all are having a good day back out there in the fake world. And, uh... I hope you appreciate that AC that you got, you, uh, you people. 
Anyway, <laughs> have a nice day. Bye-bye.